Hey guys, it's James here, so welcome back to another perfect video. So what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be doing a story time and a Q&A. Right, I really hope you like this because I kind of put a lot of effort into my videos now, so I hope you, you know, I've got my new lighting up. Well, it's actually the sun, I don't know on it, but anyway. So let's get right into the story time. I've got to zoom in for this. It's serious. Alright guys, let's get right into the story. So what we are, so the story basically, let's put your minds back to, um... Well, I was basically, you know, kind of in year eight. I mean, if you know you're from the United States, I think it's like grade five or six, something like that. So basically, we, I was in like this friendship group, and um, it consisted of quite a few people. Um, we'll call this Tom. This person will change his name to um, Marcus. Marcus, all right. Let's change his name to Marcus. So basically, Marcus and James. I'm, I'm James. I'm going to keep my name the same because you know. Shout out to the fan out there. Um, we were kind of we were kind of friends. Um, I mean, we weren't best friends, but we also didn't hate each other. So we were just, you know, if you're at lunchtime, you'd be like, oh, so, Marcus, hi. And then, basically, one of my really close friends, um, like, started going out with this person. I couldn't really find out who it was. So I put my, like, you know, everything is trying to find out who this, who this person was. And then when I did find out who it was, it was Marcus. Marcus! Marcus boy! <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, and then we was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. And then they broke up. I'm not going to tell you the reasons why they broke up, because I'm going to try and keep this, like, story time as, like, you know, as basic as possible without keeping all the names away. And not as basic as, like, oh, this is happening, that's, that's basically it. But, like, you know, trying to keep... The story not going into too personal so people don't get like triggered like sharing the internet with this so i'll just you know whatever so yeah basically they broke up and i don't know what the reasons we i do know but i'm not going to tell you so yeah they basically they basically broke broke up I've, i know i've said that three times i'm sorry but i keep getting interrupted so yeah basically they broke up and um marcus was extremely salty about it like he was like Nah, that's not cool. Nah. So yeah, he's extremely salty about it, so that was kind of annoying, but hey, just gotta, you know, go with it. And then, um, so then it became extremely awkward at school because there was basically two groups and it was, oh, I tell you what, it was really awkward. I mean, it still is awkward, but I kind of just got over it. Everyone's basically just got over it. So now we're in two groups and we never talk to each other, but we sit on like the same place in the cafeteria but I tell you what, if anyone goes up to that side of the group or that side of the table, they're out of the group. Like, that's it. Bye, boys. You know, have a nice day. You know, you're gone. So, <laughs> so yeah, they're in that side of the group and we, we never talk. In, there's this person called, I'm not going to change the name. <laughs> yeah, people go to my school, they, yeah. And, um... She's like the awful person in the group. I'm kind of friends with, we're not kind of friends with, kind of are, we're kind of not. But she keeps going on to both sides and, oh, it is funny because like everyone tells the information on that side and she tells it over here and then we're, we like get really sorry about it. We're like, mm, we're in your nine, don't mess with us, we'll stab you. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's basically that. And then, that, yeah, so just get the idea that there's two groups now. We used to be one massive group, like whole friends, like, you know, friendship goals. And now there's two groups because of what happened between Marcus and this other girl. So that's basically that. And then we get about a week later and it's his sister's 18th birthday party and he got drunk. Like, 14 years of age. So it's 13. 13 or 14, I forgot, it's like his age, sorry about that. Um, so Sergio now 14 years of age and he's full on drunk like welcome to England there's no legal age limit that like, you can drink in your home so you could give your three year old a pint of Carlin and you ain't going anywhere because there's nothing wrong with that apparently so I thought do you know what after all that he's done and all that he's done let's just have a bit of fun with him so I start messing about with him and he gets really triggered like you might think I'm slightly mean for being really nasty to him, but to be honest, I was just, you know, venting out. I was like, you go, get out my life. Because of all the, you know, because of he, basically when he was 
kind of like really salty about breakup about the breakup he called this girl a slut and I actually got pretty mad about that and um yeah it's like it got, I got really mad about that like really mad so because I was really mad we we completely fell out like we weren't just kind of friends we were arch nen arch and the bleh arch enemies sorry about that so we were arch enemies so we were like oh snap yeah we were like that so i just completely got really mad with him he got completely really mad with me so when he got drunk i thought i have an opportunity to get back here i can do this so i started messing about with him i don't have the screenshots because he blocked me and basically on instagram your messages disappear so I can see me just being like, oh, no, girl, oh, mm, 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 mm. no, mm, 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 <laughs> You can do that on Instagram, JK, you can't. So, yeah, so that's all you can see. So I won't show you any screenshots. And also, you can see his name. I, and I'm not the type of person to send hate to someone else. So I just, yeah, just, you know, got on with it. So when I was, you know, messed about with him... When he sobered up like two years later and after the hangover, he was like, oh, I'm going to punch James. And he literally, literally told the whole group that he's going to punch me. And everyone on that other side of the group was like, yeah, you go. You go and punch him for that. Because forget that you were drunk at 13 slash 14 years of age. If Did he did he get you mad? Oh, emo boys. Kill him. I'm not emo, Tom. I, bleh, I'm not emo. Marcus's. I nearly said his name. <laughs> so yeah, they were like, "Go, girl, go punch him." So basically, I was like, "Sorry, miss. Sorry, sorry. I'm really sorry about that." So yeah, I was just like, "Oh, sorry, mate," because I'm not the strongest of your. Like, if I'm in a group, I'll be the weakest of the weak. Like, I I don't have anything now. Nah. Like, if someone like, even if a fly went run into me, I'll be. I'll be flying at that wall there. I'll break my back. Like, no, nah, I'll be dead. I'll be dead. Like, next day I'll be dead. So, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. Like, I was actually genuinely like, am I going to get punched? Am I going to get punched? So, when I went to school the next day, I was hiding under the table. Because we had this thing called the LRC, the Learning Resource Centre. And my friend Lily, let's go with Lily. That's not a real name. I was like, uh, excuse me boys, can I just uh, hide hide real quick? And yeah, and all of, because in the RRC there's like a big open working area. So I'm here and the other people were just chilling out at the back corner because that's where all the emos hang out. Hang out. And all the emos were just looking at me like, like, you going down boy? And I was like, boy, I am not going down. So I was just hiding and then the bell went because he wasn't at school because uh, he still had a pretty bad hangover. But I didn't know that. I thought I was going to die. So I started apologising even more. And then that's basically what happened, to be honest. So, yeah. I didn't get punched. I was very lucky. I think a lot of apologising saying I'll never do it again. So I make love you to bits. So I think that kind of worked. And, um, yeah. So basically, that's the kind of story about, like, if he punched me, no joke, I might die. Because he is a big kid. <laughs> Not in a bad way. But if he, like, put all his force into a punch the right area of my body, I could die. So, yeah, that's kind of creepy and scary, that the fact that I could have died. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to over-exaggerate for views, even though I'm really desperate for views right now, because our channel is kind of not growing anymore. It's trying to stop at 55 slash 54 subscribers. So, I'm not trying to get a lot of views and a lot of attention. But he could have killed me. He could have... Boy, he could have killed me. So, yeah... Um, and our final part in story time is the fact that um, I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses, if you don't know. I mean, of course you won't know unless you stalk me. Uh, yeah, unless you stalk me. But yeah, I could have, uh, hmm. So I kind of took, because a bunch of gays and emos in a group, like, no offence to any emos or gay out, gays out there. I personally have nothing wrong with you. Good on you for being good. Good on, good on you for being different. Personally, I'm straight. I'm like straight as I'm. Like, I'm like as straight as a, I don't know a, a lamp post. And okay, so like one of my friends, he's not straight. He's gay. I don't 
have anything wrong with him. He's a nice lad. You know, he's a nice guy. <laughs> but there's a group of, like, emos and gays. So, um, yeah, they can literally destroy your life on Instagram. So you, you don't really mess with them, to be honest. And if you say anything like, straight pride is okay, Lily, they will come to your house and burn you with the power of Christ. I don't know. I don't think they'll do that, but, you know, I mean... They might if they like get really triggered about you so don't do that so yeah um basically as a jehovah's witness you're not meant to accept gays i mean so i'm you know you know because i'm like i don't like turn my back on religion i just i was like all right whatever you know i might not accept i won't accept gays but that does not mean i'm anti-gay i am not anti-gay okay I just don't accept gays because it's my religion. But personally, I do have I have nothing wrong with being gay. Nothing wrong with it. You wanna be different? Good for you. Good for you. But I'm not going to go up to you and say, hey mate, nah, nah, okay. Let, let me stop you there, buddy. Nah, no, don't be gay, nah, be straight. But as my religion, I won't accept it. Anyway, back on with the story. So yeah, I have nothing personally nothing wrong with you if you're gay nothing wrong with you like the reason why i'm trying to stress that is because the next part of the story i do not want to get hit because i have nothing wrong with being gay but i just can't accept it sorry about that so yeah i'm not because my religion as jehovah's witness we're, we we can like we're not meant to accept gays but it specifically says at the hall do not attack gays for being gays do not say stop being gay just don't accept it so i'm not gonna say you know stop being gay because i have nothing wrong with that anyway back to the story so i said you know sorry nothing wrong with you personally being gay but i just can't accept it and he was like nah marcus marcus was going absolutely off it he was <coughs> going off it sorry nervous if i get a complaint of being loud Anyway, so yeah, he was like, oh, that is it. You've pulled the last straw. I'm going to, I don't know, emo attack you now. Like, I'm going to, like, jump through your, through your window with my quiff of my hair. Just, whew, you know, get that you know, like, black hair down. Just, whew, and just ninja chop me. Chop me up into a bunch of little pieces. And then, I don't know, celebrated to say and stuff. I don't know, whatever you wanted to do with me. So, yeah, he was, he was like, he was pretty mad at me. So then now... He goes and tells all my friends to stop being my friend because apparently I deserved out to have no friends. I mean, <laughs> if I am a pretty mad person, crazy. Yeah, I'm just crazy. Instagram and just say, don't be James to be James's friend. Like, boy, don't be James's friend. So I was like, okay then. I mean. <laughs> I'm not anti-gay because he was saying I was anti-gay. I'm not. I just can't accept it because of my religion. And in the 21st century, aren't we meant to accept it? Because aren't gays like equality? So if you're saying because I'm a Jehovah's Witness, I cannot be any of your guys' friends or something, aren't you just going back on what you said about equality? Uh, uh, whatever. So yeah, he was like, don't be James's friend but my friend's like hold on a minute James isn't like that and now we're all cool so welcome to the year nine arguments uh, uh, <laughs> that was the saddest story time I think I've ever done and it's my first one like boy that must have been boring for you boy Alright guys, I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!